In Sagay, Negros Occidental, families of the slain farm workers are having a common wake. Four days after the massacre, they still fear for their lives and want to stay together for safety. Jenny Dongon has the story. The victims' remains will not be brought to their homes after the autopsy. They will be taken to the municipal gym instead. Four days after the massacre, the families of the victims say they still live in constant fear and would rather be together. Meanwhile, the National Federation of Sugar Workers, or NFSW, scoffed at allegations by the military that the victims had been recruited by the NPA hours before the killings. Imagine after the incident, nakapag-rally kagad sila sa DARN, nakapag-rally kagad sila sa, ano, sa front of the uh, gate 2. Uh, uh, tapos yung uh, being a lawyer, Mr. Colmenares, already made a sweeping statement na kami ang uh, involved. Rolando Rillo says they were members of NFSW, not the NPA. Hindi, hindi totoo yung uh, nire-recruit sila no, sa uh, NFSW para gawing NPA. Uh, sa katunayan po ang NFSW tumutulong po doon sa mga uh, sugar workers kung paano sila uh, i-guide para uh, iproseso, ng, uh, iproseso yung uh, lupa para sa cover, uh, cover ng DAR. Kasi nalulungkot kami nga uh, uh, pinaparatangan nila na uh, yung mga uh, namatay ay mga miyembro ng, uh, ng NPA. The NFSW instead blamed landlords who opposed agrarian reform for the killings. And then, namin nausap yung, uh, yung may-ari, yung si Attorney Barbara Tolentino, hindi yung arindador na si Alan Simbingko. At uh, nag-okay siya, na pa, nag, uh, uh, nagpaalam yung mga magsasaka doon na kung pwede na matikad ang lupa. Sabi niya, okay, walang problema. Yung uh, pinagugatan ng uh, pagpamatay, eh, komplekto sa lupa, lahat yun. Uh, kaya walang interes na mapumatay o makayang pumatay at may kayang magbaril ng ganong mga klaseng mataas na armas. Kundi yung mga ano lang, may mga mga asindero kasi sila naman ang mga may mga mayayaman. News 5 tried to get the side of attorney Tolentino but according to her staff, she's out of her office. President Rodrigo Duterte was supposed to visit the wake on Tuesday but had to call it off due to bad weather. For News 5, Jenny Dongon, We Are One News. Thank you.